Don't forget, if you're an FX Club member, you can donate your flying hours to Models for Heroes. So welcome back to the channel. On this episode, we're going to be doing a paint test on the Humbrol Acrylic Gen 2 range. These were a gift from us from Humbrol at the YouTubers event, and I really wanted to give them a go. So this is a first for our channel. So sit back and hopefully let's enjoy it. So of course the first thing to do is primer. As you can see here we have the Humbrol range in which we're going to be using and I wanted to make sure that everything within this paint test was fair to Humbrol and so we used everything in which they provided to keep the Humbrol theme throughout the video. So over to the spray booth and part of the test we're going to do now is we're going to paint some plastic spoons um, using the Humbrol acrylic primer that you can see there. Now it's not a product in which I'm used to in any way shape or form or used before but we are going to make a load of grey spoons and then that way we can uh, use that as our base for testing the paints itself. So like with any aerosol can make sure you give it a good shake before you use it mix up that paint with the ball bearing inside and then we can get started. Here we go, what we're going to do is we're going to do a light coat just over the surface of the spoon on the front and back. Uh, the reason for the back is so it gives me a surface to write on so I can tell what paint I've used. As you can see, quite a good coverage on the light first coat. A few areas there that I want to touch up, so we'll just go over that very gently again. So there you go, we're done. That's going to give us a good enough surface. Now to do the other spoons. So let the test begin. Our first candidate is 78 matte of the Gen 2 range. I'm going to be using uh, an acrylic thinner um, from Sprubox. Uh, the reason for this is Humbro are still in development with the thinner. They're having a little tinker and a play. But I use this particular thinner for all my acrylics and it works fine. So obviously going to give it a quick mix up. And then we're going to get it in the airbrush and give it a go. So into the airbrush it goes, and we're just going to a little bit of test on the side there, and then we're just going to give it a very light, low pressure. I didn't note the actual pressure I was using, but it is the normal sort of pressure I would use on my airbrush. And as you can see, the first light coat is down. Good coverage, looks really good to me. But I'm just going to have a little play and go over it just to make sure that coverage is solid colour. But there you go, as you can see, it's a good coverage. I'm just gonna blow a little bit of air over that. Try and dry it off for you so you can see the actual finish that you can achieve. And there you go, that's the finished dried test one. On to our next color, which is the acrylic 65 matte for the Gen 2 range. Again, I'm going to use the same thinner throughout the process, which is the Sprue Box Airbrush Thinner. This is a product I use, so I'm quite confident with it. Just a few drops, just to give us a little bit more of a flow to the paint. Again, pour it into the airbrush. And then what we're going to do is, as we've done before, just a start off with a nice light coat over the spoon and then we'll build the colour up from there. So you can see the first coat's gone down, quite nice coverage to start with. But does need another coat.
Again, going to blow some air over it just so we can get it dry so you can see the finished effect. A little bit of touch up here and there. But as you can see, the paint's gone down nicely. Got to build up the, the colours. Got to build up the colour a little bit, but a nice finished product. So on to our next candidate, which is 90 matte of the Gen 2 range. So far, I'm quite impressed with the paints, to be honest. I certainly think there's a definite improvement from their original acrylic range. Although I have used them, some of them I found to be a bit lumpy, a bit problematic. But so far, everything I'm using is working like a dream. So we're going to pour the paint into the airbrush and give this another go. We've got a few more paints to come and we are not going to go through the same process as we are right now. So bear with me. So as you can see, I'm going to put a light coat on like I have with all the others. Just to get a little bit of paint on there and then we'll go back over it again with another light coat. Coverage is good, as with all the others at the moment. Going for that second coat. Touching up a few areas in which I may have missed in the passing of the airbrush. But generally speaking, going down really smooth, really flat, looking really nice. Dry it off a, a little bit with some just air, just to give you the final result. And there you go. It's done. So obviously now we're going to go through the rest of the paints in which were provided to us by Humbrol using exactly the same process as all the others. Light coats and then a, a top light coat. In this particular case, on this colour, not needed. Bit of air, dry it off, give you the finished look. Nice and flat, lovely. Going to do the white now, this could be problematic, let's see. So we just got a light coat over it as you would normally. Gone down really well on the first coat already. Coverage is excellent. Absolutely no gripes about this at all. Dry off with a bit of air, give you the finished look. And there you go. Onto a grey. Grey on grey is never a good thing, right? But hopefully this will come out reasonably well so you can see it. It's a dark grey. But using the same process, using the same acrylic thinner from Spruebox. Going down very nicely. A little bit of air just to dry it off. And there you go. Happy with that. Light grey this time, again on a grey background, probably not the best choice, but you can see it going down, so we will continue. First coat, not too bad coverage at all. I'm going to go over it with a second very light coat, as we've done with the others, and then a little bit of air. I've tried to keep the amount of paint that I've used the same in all the tests, and I've got to say, I think Humbro have done a good job, really good job. Just check in there to make sure I hadn't done the same grey. <laughs> uh, first time, quite nervous about how this is going to go. But happy with that. So this time we're going to use a silver. Now the silver previously they had in the range, I found to be really quite difficult and problematic pigments maybe not ground down enough or whatever i don't know but the first coat's gone on really well and i'm quite really impressed with that do i need to do more i think i do just just because i have with all the others so we're going to dry that off and then we're going to give it another little light based in in places where maybe i've made mistakes in my application 
But you know what? I'm really impressed with that. That is fantastic. So the conclusions I draw from this paint test, yes, it's only through the airbrush, not through the hairy stick, but I think it's a cracking addition to anyone's range. Well done, Humbrol. I think you're on to a winner. Keep it up, and I hope to see a lot more. There we go. There is the link for you to check out the paints and buy. If you use that link, that does give us a small donation at no extra cost to you whatsoever. It just goes towards the channel to help us bring content to you. Thank you again for Airfix for entrusting me with a paint test. As I said, it is the first of the channel, so I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that it's been beneficial. And like all of your tools on your bench, just remember, the more you play with them, the more you understand them, the better it is. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time, take care. So I nearly forgot, I did get my paint mule out and get it all primed up using the acrylic primer from Humbrol. The idea was to do a hairy stick test, but I'll be honest, I ran out of time a little bit, but I wasn't sure whether it was necessary. Certainly not for me, I don't really use a hairy stick that often, and certainly not to paint an aircraft, but let me know in the comments below as to whether you want to see a hairy stick test with these paints. I have had a little go off camera and I'll be honest, I'm fairly impressed with it. It's as I would have expected, but uh, if you want to see it, let me know and we'll make that happen. So again, thanks for tuning in. Take care. Bye-bye.